Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some Waldorf resources and curriculums. This video is a part of my series of different homeschooling resources and curriculums for different homeschooling styles. If you're interested in seeing the video that I did on the different homeschooling styles, I will link that right here. And if you are interested in seeing the other resource and curriculum videos that I've made for the variety of homeschooling styles, I will also link that here and in the description of this video below. Now the Waldorf homeschooling method is one that I had never heard of before I started doing this series. I also had a really hard time finding a homeschooling mom who uses the Waldorf method who could join in our collaboration. So when I went looking for curriculum and resources, I actually didn't expect to find a whole lot. However, I was pleasantly surprised. I have been able to find some really great Waldorf resources and curriculum. So there are obviously Waldorf homeschoolers out there. And I'm really excited to be able to share with you today the resources and curriculum that I have found for the Waldorf method in case you are interested in this homeschooling style. So before I go too much further, I just want to give a brief overview of what is the Waldorf homeschooling style. In a Waldorf homeschooling style, children learn through the natural world and they incorporate the arts and very hands-on methods into their learning. There's a great focus on imaginative play, especially in the early years, and creative expression is strongly encouraged as a form of learning. The Waldorf method is largely a teacher-directed learning experience. However, children are very active participants in this homeschooling style. There are a lot of multi-sensory activities and children learn through main lessons or thematic studies. Children often end up creating their own textbook based on the information that they are learning in their school. So in this video, I'm going to be going over several book recommendations that I have run into in my research of this style, as well as some curriculum options. I think you will find that there is quite a wide range of curriculum options, so I hope you stick around to hear my summary of these different options. As I go through these book recommendation and curriculum options, don't forget that I am linking all the information below, so you will find links to the recommended books as well as the curriculum websites below so don't forget to check out the description below when you're done this video. So the tasks and content of the Steiner Waldorf curriculum by Avison, Rawson, and Richer is a comprehensive overview of ideas behind the Wardoff approach of education. It includes a survey of child development in relation to the curriculum, and it talks about why the curriculum is set up the way that it is. It includes key elements of the approach. It includes things like how evaluation and assessment work within a Waldorf homeschooling method, and it includes the curriculum for all the different classes or years, meaning grades. The Waldorf Main Lesson by Eric G. Mueller talks about the main lesson and why it's such a major component of a Waldorf education. So the main lesson is the theme that Waldorf schools or Waldorf students will be studying for a period of time. Usually students will be learning about one major theme and everything in their school will be incorporated into that theme. So this book is talking about that and why that method works. So it talks about what is it like, how is it structured, what are the benefits of teaching in this way, and how does it change throughout the lower, middle, and high school years. Now I am going to mention that neither of these books are homeschool specific. These are going to be talking about the way that a Waldorf school runs, but I'm sure as a homeschool parent you'd be able to learn a lot about the method and be able to adapt it to your own homeschooling experience. All right, so let's get into the curriculum resources. So the first one that I have heard a lot of is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, Kostoffer's Homeschool Resources. It is a secular curriculum as all the Waldorf curriculum that I'll be showing you is. 
I put the price range in the mid to high price range. And in my mind, $1 sign is around $300 per student. $2 signs would be about up to six, $700 per student. And then $3 signs would be that and above. So on the site, it has a lot of specific information and training opportunities for the new homeschooling parent. I think they've noticed an influx of homeschooling parents interested in the Waldorf method. And so they have information for you there if you are a new homeschooling parent or new to the Waldorf method. On this website, you will find full year guides available for purchase for the different classes or years. This price does not include supplies. And in a Waldorf method, supplies would be including things like art supplies and materials needed for the handicrafts and things like that. Those are an important component of the Waldorf method. Let's take a look at the website. So here we are at the website. And if you scroll down here, there's quite a bit of information. There's different blogs, different things that you could read about if you're new to this or if you just want more information on the Waldorf method. So if you look around there, they have information. And then if you go to their store, you can go and choose kind of what grade you're looking at. So I'm just gonna keep focusing on grade five level. And so here are all the different grades and here's the grade five syllabus. And so I'm gonna click here to read more. Here is the range of prices and they kind of let you choose what you would like to pay. 525 would be like the bare minimum. And then they have the break even level, which I'm guessing is in between there where they would break even. And then the, if you want to pay 625, you would be supporting their curriculum. So you get to choose kind of what price you want to pay for the curriculum. So it includes fifth grade syllabus, botany, ancient mythology, fifth grade mathematics, and some plays. And here's some examples of the curriculum. And I did watch this video here, and it sounds like it is quite parent-led as far as parents definitely need to be involved. Many of the Waldorf method require quite a bit of parent involvement. They consider it not to be an open-and-go curriculum. So you might want to watch that video if you're interested in learning more about this curriculum. And then here are the main lessons, the things that the kids will be studying in the fifth grade year. And then there's more information down here. So I do want to mention that in my looking at the different resources of the Waldorf method, the curriculum is quite uniform. Every year they seem to have certain things that they learn. So that must be something that's very standard in the Waldorf curriculum. All right, so let's go on to live education or live education, not sure how it's said. It's secular, it's in the mid-range for price. A consultation is required in order to order the curriculum, so you do have to call. I think they want to make sure you know what you're doing, and I'm not sure if they customize your curriculum at all, but they do like to check in with you and see how you're doing. You do order the whole year curriculum, and supplies are not included in that, but you will get a supply list, so you will add the supplies that you need. So here we are, and so here's a little introduction here if you want to watch that, and then they have more information here, different for schools, for teachers, for parents. So this is how you get started, book a curriculum consultation, order the custom curriculum package over the phone, bring Waldorf education to life into your home or school. So let's go ahead and look at the curriculum. Get a look at fifth grade curriculum. So fifth grade curriculum is 460, so a little cheaper than the last site. And this is what you would get. So culture of ancient Egypt, the ancient culture in Persia, teaching ancient Greek mythology, introduction to the fifth year. I think that's a general guide, geometry and number, botany, ancient Mesopotamia, and ancient India. So those are kind of the guides that come with this. And let's just take a look here. So overview book shows the teacher how to organize the entire year as well as each school day. It also contains lists of art supplies and reading lists for the student. The section on teaching North American geography gives the teacher suggestions and activities for the student for teaching a three-week block on various regions of North America. And then they tell you how you would organize your schedule or your blocks. So these are like the main lessons. So September, introduction to geometry, ancient India, botany, ancient Persia, North American geography, math practice with decimals, ancient Mesopotamia, 
Geometry Graphs Estimations, North American Geography 2, Ancient Egypt, Botany, and Greek Myths. So you can see kind of how they split the curriculum up. So this is a very Waldorf thing to do, I suppose. They have a certain curriculum and they split them into chunks where they're focusing on one thing at a time. All right, so that's the curriculum for that. Looks like they have some virtual enrichment courses here. So they've had Spanish, arts and crafts, making joyful music, exploring the novel, current events and critical thinking. So it looks like one hour or 45 minute classes. All right, so I'm not sure how much those are. There is live education. So Waldorf Essentials is another secular curriculum company. It is in the mid-range as well. You can purchase physical and or digital products. You purchase the full year curriculum, supplies not included again. And this one really is heavy on parent training. So they have Facebook groups, they have training sessions, they have weekly coaching calls that you can get on. They have an app to get you caught up on things if either your student doesn't know how to do something because they are just jumping in to the Waldorf method and haven't grown up in it, or if you're not quite sure how something works, they even have an app with mini lessons to teach you and get you up to speed. So this site for sure is very heavy on the training and the teaching of the parent and the student and trying to make sure that everyone understands the method that they are using. So here is Waldorf Essentials. So they talk about homeschool training, they talk about curriculum, school planning, and they link to the seasons of seven. And we're actually going to be looking at that in a bit. So they have Monday mornings watch. So they have free videos coming out each week. They have podcasts. They have free resources to help you learn. So let's take a look at the shop. So here are the different levels of, or the different grades. So let's take a look at grade five. So grade five is for an 11 year old. And what is included? So this is a full curriculum course for grade five. And the text includes a day-by-day -day schedule. It covers standard topics from Waldorf grade five, including mathematics, ancient cultures, botany, geometry, and more, all in a very user-friendly manner. So it includes completely laid out main lessons, all the mathematics and geometry lessons for the year, handiwork instructions for the year, main lesson pictures, planning for peace journal and planning access, audio and videos for support. So let's take a look at a sample here. So here's the table of contents. Parent care, inner work for self and family, ages and stages, your child at 11, setting the mood, what fits in your wagon, the basics of Waldorf, and then thinking, the overview, and then all the different things in the overview here, grade five lesson blocks, year at a glance, week and daily schedule, grade five lesson content, handiwork. So here are the basic lesson plans. So that's just kind of looks like a guide for the parent on how to teach the curriculum. Okay, so here you get hard copies of the curriculum if that's the package you purchase and they have the app. And so here are the prices. So United States families for hard copy, you get it for $3.95, so very inexpensive. International families for $4.75. And if you only want digital access for $3.25. So these include the hard copies and this is just the digital access. So that is what they have at Waldorf Essentials. Okay, so Oak Meadow is probably the only curriculum company that I have heard of when it comes to I didn't know it was the Waldorf method, but anyways, when it comes to knowing about curriculum, this is the only one I've actually heard of. And I think the reason why is it is a little more mainstream. It would be considered more of a Waldorf inspired curriculum in that it is more student led than the more traditional Waldorf education. As I've mentioned, the parent or the teacher seems to be very involved in a traditional Waldorf method of homeschooling or education but the Oak Meadow is more suited for more of an independent study by the student. 
So it is the higher price range here. It also has an online school. So you could do it as a homeschooler and purchase the curriculum and guide your student or have your student do their work on their own, or you can enroll in their online accredited school. So we'll take a look at that when we get to the website. You can purchase different components separately as well. You don't have to purchase the whole year of that curriculum. So if you only wanted to do, say, history from Oak Meadow, you could do that. Or just the math, you could do that as well. So let's take a look at Oak Meadow. So here's the website for Oak Meadow. Let's go down here. Here's the different grades. So they have some information here. And then here's where they talk about the independent use and the enrollment. So if you want to purchase the curriculum, you go to their store and purchase their curriculum, or you can enroll in their school. And so you would click there to enroll in their school. Now, I don't know what the cost is to enroll in the school, but it is like a school. So you would not be homeschooling technically if you were enrolled in the school. But it's a virtual school, and I'm not really going to go into that, but that is an option if that's something you're interested in looking into further. Let's take a look at purchasing the curriculum. All right, so here are the different categories. They have crafts and supplies, high school courses, pre-K to 8 curriculum, resources, digital curriculum, and Meadow Merch. Let's go in here, and let's just look at the fifth grade. So here's their fifth grade package. So it looks like they have everything in there. They have English and U.S. history, science, the teacher manual, math, math, and then some books to read. So that is $720 for all of that. Your fifth grade craft kit. So all the craft supplies that you would need to go along with that. So that would be $160. And then you could purchase these separately. So this is, you could just get the math if you wanted. You could get the English and U.S. history. You get the science. You could get the teacher your menu. And then there's the resources that also come with the curriculum. So you could purchase those separately. Let's go back to Oak Meadow and take a look here. So I'm just going to go here and see if I see something different. All right, so this talks more about it and more about curriculum and gives curriculum samples and things like that. So let's take a look at the curriculum sample here. I'll look at grade five. All right, so it looks like I would have to look at all of these separately. So let's take a look at the English and U.S. history one. Okay, so here is the overview. So they tell you what you'll be learning in English and social studies for first and second semester. For the students, reading and writing tips, course materials and organization for the parent, assessment measures in home learning, information for students enrolled in Oak Meadow School, and then here are the lessons, so English social studies, English social studies, so each lesson, what they're learning in each lesson in, in their English and social studies. All right, so 36 lessons, so I guess each lesson would be for a week. Okay, and then there's an introduction to the student telling them what to expect. And then they have an introduction to the parent telling them what they would expect. Let's take a look at the lessons. All right, so lesson one. So this tells you what to do. Begin reading your book of choice about Christopher Columbus. Alphabetize and define vocabulary words and use them in sentences. Identify subjects and predicates in sentences. List subjects and predicates and compose original sentences. Edit and proofread writing assignment. And in social studies, read early settlers in North America. Choose a writing assignment about early explorers. Make a shadow stick and data chart. Find the North Star. Write a poem about the night sky. And then the materials that you would need. And then here's all the, basically the workbook. So here's the lesson and here's books that they could choose for reading about Christopher Columbus. Here are the vocabulary words that they were mentioning and then telling them what to do with the vocabulary words. Here's the social studies assignment. And there's what part of the reading that you're supposed to do for your social studies assignment. All right, and then a learning assessment for the end of lesson one or week one. So I can tell from this that it is definitely set up in a way where most students should be able to read and do the checklist and it's just laid out 
Quite simply, if you wanted your student to be a little more independent, I feel like a lot of the Waldorf curriculum, you would have to be guiding more. Whereas if you had a student who was pretty self-reliant, they could probably work through this pretty easily and just follow the lessons and do the week's work. And so I understand why this is a Waldorf-inspired curriculum versus a purely Waldorf curriculum. And I'm assuming they incorporate a lot more art and things like that to make it the Waldorf-inspired curriculum. So next we have Season of Seven. This is actually a virtual school. It is not an accredited school and you would still be considered homeschooling if you were using this school. So they're not trying to get accredited. It is not actually a school. However, your child would be led by teachers at this school. So the student is taught through a mix of live classes and pre-recorded lessons. So your student would be meeting with the teacher a certain number of times a week, and they would be following along with some pre-recorded lessons. You can buy full classes, meaning for the full grade, or you could just purchase enrichment classes here. So here we are at season of seven. So if you wanted to get an introduction, you could go here and watch this video. They have open houses here. They talk about what they're trying to do as a school. So just places you can click on more information. This is the full course, 32 weeks with a classroom teacher. Perfect for families that want a Waldorf inspired education at home. Season of Seven gives you both pre recorded lessons from a trained teacher and live Zoom connection with peers and teachers for a full class experience. And then the Richmond classes you can do handiwork, music, foreign language, etc. And so that's just enrichment courses or classes, and they run eight to 32 weeks. So here they go over how their school is different from others combination of live and pre recorded content allowing for flexibility, daily screen time less than one to two hours, weekly parent contact with the teacher and a community of parents, weekly child contact with the teacher forming a bond, main lesson and specialty classes are integrated, and weekly assignment feedback. So let's take a look at the classes. All right, so there's the teachers. They meet one to four times a week, depending on age and need to have community. Live Zooms, students will play games, discuss the week's lessons, receive help from the teacher, get to know their classmates, work on projects together, etc. And then you would pick your grade. So let's go look at class five. There's the teacher with Miss Andrea, and you could watch her video. And then it talks about what you're going to be doing in your class. And like I said, it is all seems to be Waldorf style. They are learning the same things with most of these Waldorf curriculum. Main themes, grammar, composition, dictionary use, verse and mythologies from ancient cultures, geometry, fractions, standard long division, decimal fractions, metric system, measurement, the wonder of number, botany, some zoology, US geography, ancient history, Greek history, and map making. Here's some samples of their work. And then here are the enrichment. So if you buy the full course, you get the enrichment as well. And so here are the different enrichment teachers and there's videos about each of them. So there you go. There's a virtual or hybrid school for Waldorf style of homeschooling. So I had to look around a little bit to find the price or the cost of the tuition. So that is down here. Full academic year of 32 weeks with a class teacher, classes K to 12, run between 1200 and 4500 a year. And then enrichment classes between 8 to 32 weeks are 300 to $900. Next, I have Waldorfish. Waldorfish is actually not a curriculum. It is more a virtual school for the art and handicrafts opponent of a Waldorf homeschool. If you don't feel comfortable with the art in a Waldorf education and you want to learn how to do the art or you want your child to learn more on how to do the art, this is a place that you could go to get some art lessons for yourself or art lessons for your child. So I have that as one, I guess, a question mark because I'm not sure exactly how much the classes are, but let's take a look at the website. Okay, so here we are at Waldorfish. It's Waldorf inspired education at home. We've the best of both worlds with art based online classes you can access from the coziness of your own kitchen. So it looks like you can do a free lesson. All right, let's click here at all courses. So I looked at this one a bit here, Waldorf Art for Beginners. This is actually for the parents to learn how to teach the Waldorf art. 
So they bring you through how to do Waldorf art, the beginning of it for $59. And it looks like it could be about four lessons. I'm not sure how many lessons or how long these are. And then we have weekly art foundations for ages seven and up. And that can be either for you yourself or for your children or for all of you. And they don't really have a price. You have to enroll and then they will give you weekly art lessons for a year. So I'm not sure how much it is. So they have weekly art foundations, weekly art diving deeper for when you finish foundations, weekly art and beyond for high school grades, grade one and grade two painting, form drawing, geometry, science. Okay, so it's not just art. I didn't see that before. A festival year, weekly art archive bundles, looks like four art lessons each. If you just want a few lessons, you can purchase that. All right, so $31, you can purchase uh, four art lessons. So that's kind of fun. And you can get all of them for 20% off. So $74 and you can get 12 art lessons. So I just thought that was a fun site to throw in there since it is definitely the Waldorf style of art. And I know some people who might be jumping into Waldorf style may not feel super comfortable with the art component. I know I would not know what to do. So I thought I would just add that in as a bonus at the end. So there you go. There's somewhere you can go to get art lessons for yourself or for your children. So that wraps up some of the main curriculum that I found for the Waldorf style and resources that I found for you. I hope it's helpful. And if you would like to see more different types of curriculum for different styles of homeschooling, be sure to check in the links below for my curriculum series on all the different curriculum for different homeschooling styles. My next one is actually going to be more of the eclectic homeschooling style. I'm going to be including some curriculum that didn't necessarily fit into any of the boxes that I feel like should not be missed. So if you'd like to stick around for that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you see that video when it comes up. And if you'd like to see more homeschooling content, my children are ages 9, 9, 10, and 13, and we do a lot of group subjects together as well as independent work. So if you would like to see how we do things in our homeschool, I would love it if you would stick around, and I hope to see you again. Thanks for coming. Goodbye, everyone.